Armstrong. Command has been given. Crank him up. Let's go. When I say I don't know, I don't know. Let's go, baby. Now, the morning drive. Buckle up, everybody. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's a game changer. I listen to you guys every single day on my way to work. Well, again, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on the radio. You guys are amazing. What are you doing over there? I'm going to the top. The morning drive with Mike Bagley and Pete Pistoni. To the bat balls. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90, live and on the air for this Thursday, May 18th, 2023. Mike Backley here in Del Marvel, Studio 1D. We've got Pistol Pete Pistoni in the Faison Palace in Chicago. We've got Sammy, who's back, and Davey as well in Studio 134, the Beltway Bureau in our nation's capital. We welcome each and every one of you to this Thursday morning, and happy Friday Eve to you, Triple P. Good morning, Bagman. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday Eve to one and all. A fine Thursday and uh, getting closer, obviously, to the racing weekend at North Wilkesboro. How are you today? A little chilly here this morning in Chicago. What's it like by you, pal? Dude, we got up. The feels like was 41 this morning. <laughs> Look at me. I'm in a fleece. What are we doing yeah. here? It's the middle of we've crossed the cross flagged portion of the month of May. Why are we getting up to 41 degrees? Come on. I don't know, man. Furnace Jeez. one night, Jeez. air conditioner the next. So we are on uh, furnace time right now. I'm looking. It's going to be better. Today's supposed to be 73, and we got better weather ahead. But yeah, that, well, I told you when that pneumonia front came through here, all hell broke loose the other night. Is that seriously what they called it? That's what they called it. Tom Skilling on WGN, I thought he was going to inappropriately touch himself. That's how excited he was about this thing. It was unbelievable. Well, it's not oh. like you're getting snow. I mean, what's there to get worked I, up It's about? just this this front, this phenomenon, and the way the clouds were forming, and you could actually watch it marching down to us from the north, and it was the craziest thing. And sure enough, when it came through, the temperature dropped like 30 degrees, and we haven't been able to get back up past i think 55 yesterday or so it was sunny wow. but it was cool but anyway it's supposed to get a little bit better and uh no rain of course no rain because they put the fertilizer down yesterday on the grass and it says plainly please water okay well well get mother out nature. the red hose yeah exactly mother nature do your thing do your thing honey well, as we, um, yeah, so it's chilly here. Uh, obviously, you've got going on what you got there, but we have back amongst us Sammy, who is back from overseas for a little uh, jaunt, him and mother, mother maid over there. Sammy, welcome back. Glad to have you back. Hello. How are you? Sammy. I did not go with my mom. I went with my wife. So yes. just, well, I want to just, Sorry. I, I'd, like to, I'd like to just, you know. Mother maid. Yeah, no, that was weird. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, well, how was it uh, to and fro? Ireland for you guys. Easy, easy. Uh, good time. It was, uh, we flew Aer Lingus. Uh, yeah, they got, it's like their national airline. Uh, and we, Aer Lingus. Lingus, yeah. We were nonstop to Dublin on the way out, six and a half hours. No, 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 no difficulty. We, uh, I slept for most, like, for like four hours of it. So that was pretty nice. I got about 30 minutes into everything, anywhere, all at once and was like, I'm sorry. Told you. No, no, it was good. No, what I was saying was it was it was good, and I wanted to keep watching it. I didn't want to oh. doze off, so I okay. so right. I I turned it off, went to sleep. We made it, landed, hit a bunch of bars, pubs, things like that. Saw a bunch of stuff. Um, saw some castles. We went to Northern Ireland, where I got to see the Titanic Museum. This where like they built the Titanic um, in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Uh, that was pretty cool. Got to see where they launched it and stuff. Um, honestly. One of the best museums I've ever been to. That's not a Smithsonian. Um, it you know because here like, hey, let's go to somewhere, go to a museum. You know, I can I have world class museums just down the road from me with all the Smithsonian's just being in D.C. Yeah. So I'm a little yeah. spoiled when it comes to that regard. Yeah. And people are like, hey, come to a museum in our in our city, and I'm like, okay, well, the I bar will. Set but pretty it's pretty high. It, yeah, the bar is set very very high. Very so, high. So so the the Belfast Museum was was something cool. Not out, not a lot else really going on. Um, I gotta say they love their city halls in Ireland, though they built some really, really like palatial city halls and stuff like that. So we, um, so we got to go do that. Then we went to Kilkenny. It's like a medieval spot in Ireland, a little bit south of Dublin. Um, saw a castle there. Um, you know, had went to more pubs. Basically, uh, they we did a lot of drinking. I drank a lot of Smittix. Not a big Guinness guy. I had my Guinness that they drink there, but mm -hmm. in Kilkenny they also have a drink called Smittix. You might you see it. It's looks like Smithwicks. S M I T H W I C K S. It's like yeah. a red ale. 
Um, but I drank yeah. that instead of Guinness most of the time I was there. But we had a good time. Um, on the last night we were there, uh, we ran into head football coach for Louisiana State University, Brian Kelly, who was on a golf trip with seven other friends. Uh, we were sitting there, my buddy, we were like, that guy looks like Brian Kelly. And I go, this what's Brian? What would Brian Kelly be doing in Ireland right now? Well, Golfing. also, but then we, <laughs> he's wearing an he's wearing an LSU quarter zip, and I was like, who's Wait gonna be, who's minute. who's gonna look like Brian Kelly wearing an LSU quarter zip in a bar in, in a pub in Dublin? So we saw him, chatted with him, very nice guy. Um, that was kind of that was pretty cool. But I gotta say, the highlight of it was we didn't have any rain. Bagman, you'd be happy with this. No rain the entire time. It was nice and sunny, and uh, it that. stays stays light till about nine ten o'clock at night out there. The first night we were there, we walked down this canal. Five hundred people sitting outside, standing around drinking, and we we're like, "What are you guys doing? What's what's going Wait, on? What do you what guys? What time was this? Like ten o'clock at nine, ten o'clock at night. Well, and ten it, o'clock at night, five hundred people sitting around drinking. Just on now, a Tuesday on a canal. <laughs> this is on a Friday. <laughs> on a Friday. Uh, <laughs> this is on the canal, like that by our, where our hotel was, and people were just yeah. outside drinking, having a good time, laughing around. And I said, "What do you? What's what's going on?" And people are like, "Oh, this is just the first nice day that we've had in a month. <laughs> so we're all just outside having a good time. So we just hung out for another hour or two with these with like locals and stuff like that, and That's had awesome. a bunch of beers. People were nice. very friendly. I would encourage anyone who lives on the East Coast to make that trip if you can get like a nonstop flight. It's like if you lived in Boston, it would be like a five hour flight to go to Dublin. So like." Wow, it's probably be in Ireland quicker than you could California. That, that's yeah, what I'm gonna saying. Say, like, you were to go into you go into Portland in June, right? It, kind exactly. of the same thing. So yeah. uh, it was six and a half hours there, eight hours back, because obviously you don't have the jet stream going pushing you across the Atlantic yeah. Ocean. But uh, we went to another couple, had a great time. So yeah, it was a blast. Um, Encourage people to go to places that you've never been before, because like I said, you know, Belfast wasn't great, but like I took a train from Dublin to Northern Ireland. I'll never do that again, but it was cool to see stuff. We went on like the coast, and you got to see what the uh, the other people lived like for a little bit. Hmm. That's great. Not my well, style. You, but we'll I, I told these guys you had texted me about the Brian Kelly thing, and the funny part was he said he looked like Todd Gordon. And he does. He does look like Todd Gordon. He looks like Todd Gordon. <laughs> just a little bit. Just he a does. very, very little bit. And I like, I didn't, you know, he 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 took interest in like what we, not necessarily what we did, but well, interest in what Tori did. He did like what Tori did. But uh, so he talked to her about that for a little bit. But they asked like where we went to school and stuff like that. And. You know, he was a. What was, was his a, reaction when you said Ball State? Uh, well, he had more of a reaction when I said that uh, my mom went to Purdue because LSU beat Purdue sixty-three to seven this year in the uh, in the bowl game they were in. So, but <laughs> I pro- up. but I promptly followed that up with my brother went to Tennessee and they did beat you forty to seventeen. Oh, so we got that. Wow! My, my, wow! My, 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 in, oh yeah! Wow! Well, my wow. brother was. I texted my brother. I was like, "Hey, Mitch." I was like, "Brian Kelly's down here. What do you want me to say?" And he just said forty to seventeen or whatever they beat him by. I was like, "All right, <laughs> I'll, 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 scoreboard, I'll, scoreboard." I'll try to do that. So he was uh-huh. a good sport. Again, just. Like, the things, the people you run into, you know what I mean? Like, I would just, uh, uh, Louisiana State football coach, LSU yeah. football coach, is well, the bar there. Crazy. Used to coach the, he used to coach the Fighting Irish, so maybe that's yes. why he was there, maybe. right? Yes. So maybe it was leftover Irish travel. I don't know. I don't What's know. the sports landscape like there now? Is there soccer? What's going on in Ireland? Uh, Ireland? So they, their big sport is, they like, it's called hurling. Hurling and uh, I, and Gaelic football. Gaelic football is like a combination of soccer, basketball, and rugby. Mm-hmm. Um, you like dribble like a round ball, and you like you know how in rugby like you can run with a ball and you gotta like kick it and stuff like that. Like there's all different aspects of it, but the big one is called hurling, and that's like um, it's kind of like lacrosse where you have like a wooden stick that looks like a very long spoon essentially. Like I know that's like a very trivial way of putting it but it looks like a long spoon and you got to bounce it on the stick and you're like running around with it and you got to like fling it up in the air and you hit Mm. it and it like you hit it through like goalposts and stuff like that it's a huge huge sport there but it's all amateur no one gets paid to play it but it's like the national sport and they pack the house there the stadium that we drove by on they have nothing else on the (laughs) eighty thousand seats mike the dublin stadium had eighty thousand seats in it for hurling and that's (laughs) Not the that's like, a funny name of a sport, and that's before you get to the bar, <laughs> right? Exactly. exactly. So no, they they love it there. Um, it's a it's a pretty big deal. But like I we watched on TV, um, it was just rugby, a lot of rugby too, uh, and like I said, Gaelic football. Um, mm-hmm. They everything there too is in Gaelic and in English. Boy, that is a uh, like, that's a tough it's one. It's a yeah. tough one to to like. Woo-hoo-hoo. 
<laughs> you don't know what they're saying, and it doesn't. It makes like you, if you try to read it, you just come off probably sounding so ignorant and like mm-hmm. so stupid. You're like, I'm just, I'm just gonna speak state state of the English part here. All right, but yeah, well, that's great. Uh, never been overseas. Um, summer of twenty six, we're planning our Italy trip. Mama mia, so, it's already on the uh, Good for you. It's already on the books. About three three years from this summer, we got some things. I think it'll be in play. So Shelly and I are gonna go to the old country that summer. Look forward to it. Well, for me, the old the way, country. I don't know about Shelly. Sammy, you talked about shows that um, you were trying to watch on the plane. Last night, boys, what'd I started watch? watching The Diplomat. What'd you think? Oh, what'd you think? <laughs> Felicity Gone that's Wild. My, that's my kind of show, number yeah, one. Yeah, Okay. Number two, here's where I've gotten. And if you've watched this, you'll know exactly where this is. I don't want to give anything away to anybody that's going to be watching. Mm-hmm. I got to the point to where the lady showed up with the tray of bananas. <laughs> I about peed myself laughing. Okay. The way they handled it has dry slapstick moments in this very serious mm-hmm. dramatic thing to where they have these like reactions or these little smart pithy comments mm-hmm. or looks that I'd like actually. It's not a comedy by any means. It's very discreet what they do, but the reactions of some of the things that have happened has been like her her reaction. Yep, that's my husband. Yeah. Oh, right. you'll know when it happened. And that that kind of stuff that um is that so that's as far as I've gotten with this, but I'm intrigued for more. I can tell this thing's getting ready to take off and go somewhere. I don't know who is the spoiler in this in in this in this bunch, but somebody inside here is turning something upside down somewhere. At least that's the way it feels that it's going to happen. Am I true or is that accurate? Uh, I'm only a couple episodes in, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's not a who done okay. it, but it kind of is like a who done it because yeah. there's some there's a there's a main kickoff to like everything that happened, and you're trying to figure out who was the person that kicked off everything, mm-hmm. and it will surprise you. It yeah. will surprise okay. you. Uh, Good. I'm glad you're into almost, that. It's it got almost a feel. reminds me of like a 24 type feel to it without the clock and without you know <laughs> things going on and all. As, see, in 24, the sinister things were more rapid fire. Like they start the day and bam, they're they're all, we're already in trouble. But this is kind of like a long runway to get to there. But and the grooming of that individual for that position. And I can tell some sinister stuff is getting ready to happen. So I'm very intrigued. So thank you for that tip. But I've left that other mess behind. But this diplomat thing looks like something I can get my arms around. Well, last night we had a lot going on here in terms of uh, lots of different screens. Obviously, Flow Racing was locked for all three races that we had at North Wilkesboro, which we'll get into here a little bit. I had the Heat and the Celtics going on one screen. I had a little baseball going on the other screen. I don't know if you guys heard the story, but if you were watching Heat and Celtics last night on YouTube TV, it went down eight minutes with the fourth quarter, uh, the game on the line, it went down. And that, that is not good because Sunday Ticket, if you're an NFL fan, is heading to YouTube TV, and uh, they need to work those kinks out. So there were a lot of unhappy people last well, night. Well, what, what created it? Was it uh, too many people trying to get in? I haven't read. Well, I haven't heard. To be honest with you, they haven't had an, uh, a, a, you know, a reason for it. But that's tough because that was a good game. Again, the NBA, Jimmy Butler, again stealing a game from the Celtics, uh, and again all the racing at uh, North Wilkesboro. They got it all in uh, the pro late model race for the car series, the late model stock car race for the car series, and then the ASA National Stars race to tap things off. Which I don't think took the green flag until a little bit after. 10 o'clock, I want to say, Eastern time down there at North Wilkesboro. Yeah. That was rough. And again, there wasn't much they could do because that race was supposed to go Tuesday and it got rained out and they tacked it onto the end of the two cars races. But uh, I pretty much watched all three races and uh, it's kind of setting the table for what we're getting this weekend with the trucks and the cup cars. Apparently, when the YouTube TV thing crashed, it just kept repeating the new trailer for the Little Mermaid movie. Yes, yes, just, just yes. ongoing. Yes. I could not imagine trying to watch the last couple minutes of my team try to win a damn basketball game. And I just keep seeing a remake for a Little Mermaid come up. I'd be part there, of man. their world. I'd be so upset. Well, <laughs> what this did is fed the anti streamers last night. See, we yeah. don't have this problem on normal TV. See, you yeah, know that see? streaming internet yeah, stuff. See? Yeah, see. Well, you know what? Like a bootlegging, huh? I streamed six hours of racing from Flow last night on not you know, one hiccup. Not one hiccup. So you know what? Stow it, dinghy. It happens, unfortunately. Okay, it's Edith. You got your all in the families and your Alice is crossed up. Well, there. I, I think he told her to stow it too. I believe Mel Sharples was also stowing it, like really? Archie Bunker. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure there was a stow it there on both ends. Why did we get away from stow it? I mean, it, 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 you pack it away, shut it down. It's very applicable. We don't use that term anymore. Let's bring it back, Mike. You and I. Come on. Bring it back. Stow it, Peter. <laughs> All right. It's going to take a little right, more than we, that. We got, I know. Well, it's a work in progress. It's a work right, in progress. Coming up, <laughs> coming up on the show, uh, bottom of the hour, we'll give you a headline check. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number one. Also coming up this morning at 8.50, got the calendar for you. Coming up at 9 o'clock, we'll kick off hour three with a visit with Harrison Burton for the Wood Brothers. Sixth place finish over the weekend of the Goodyear 400 at Darlington, getting ready to go race in the open to potentially move forward into the NASCAR All-Star Race. Dustin Long will join us at 9.30 this morning. Christopher Bell will join us at 10 a.m. in the East. And, of course, we were with you until 11 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to take your telephone calls this morning at 866-BIT-LANE, and we'll also take your tweets at SiriusXM NASCAR, hashtag TMD NASCAR.